is an EXO Defender 9. And I am Captain Boomies with Boat Test. Let's start right here on the bow. There's a great big sun cushion, but all of these cushions can come up and be stowed so you don't have to worry about them during running. Underneath here is the anchor and windlass, and it folds up and folds away when you're running so that you don't have to worry about your anchor clanging around. That's a really nice hinge action with a piston keeping it up. Over here, we have little plugs that cover up holes where I can put in posts to create a great big sunshade up here. As you head back, this hatch opens and goes down into the cabin. This little V-berth cabin could be used for a weekend on the water, and it has a really surprisingly big head with a full sink. There's a refrigerator right here. And this step comes down. <laughs> and this folds back, so you have a nice big bed. I came in through the bow, but I'm gonna exit right next to the helm station. Follow me down the side deck and I'll show you the aft. This seat is the start of why I think this boat makes for a great Miami show-off boat, because she's convertible. Let me show you. This table folds out and drops down and can be combined with this seat, which can pivot around as well. to become a big lounge space. But if you're gonna hit some gnarly weather, you can flip this seat around, roll this down, and then you have heat and air conditioning in this whole space here. These side hatches can be converted into storage, or they can even be a live well for my fishing hardcore folk. This hull is aluminum construction with a fiberglass overlay. I'm standing on what I would call a sugar scoop that makes up the fiberglass portion of the boat, and it's totally wrapped in rubber. She's powered by two 225 Merc outboards, and let me show you what that means for us on the helm. Before I get to the helm, I wanna show you the configurations of this sliding door system. So, like I said, we can close it in completely or I can open it up. I can open it all the way up. And then this seat facing forward makes a lot more sense. Let me step back around to the helm. She has super cool shock absorbing seats so we can run through any kind of chop you can throw at her and be very comfortable. I'm gonna put my feet on this little footrest here and take a look at all of the systems I have access to at the helm. She has an Optimus joystick that's gonna control those engines on the back and help me out. She's got a bow thruster. It's loud one. <laughs> Radio and two Simrad displays. Speaking of loud, let's test this horn out. Oh, it's multi-tone. She comes with an auto trim system and I can control the windlass from the helm station, which is nice when you're the only person who knows what they're doing on board. This boat comes equipped with heat and air conditioning and all of my battery switches are right here at the helm. I said she reminded me of a rally car because one, she's got a sunroof that kind of looks like a car sunroof, especially the way you operate it. And then she has these aluminum bars that create a roll cage around the helm and guest seats. But she's so Miami <laughs> in that she's got great colors and textures and just feels very trendy. One of the engineers from EXO gave me these plates to show the hull construction and how thick these aluminum plates are. This plate 
is the thickness that makes up the sides of the hull. This one makes up the bottom. And this one is the keel. It's really thick. And it's also made from 5083 aluminum, which means it's got a very low copper content and very high quality. For all these reasons, the EXO Defender 9 is a real head turner. I know she caught my eye. For Boat Test, I'm Captain Boomies, reminding you, life is better on a boat.